Hello, my name is Tongwen Fan. I'm a master student in Shanxi Normal University. Today, my topic is phoneme awareness predicts character reading ability in young Chinese children through phonemic mismatching activity. This project is collaborated with Dr. Hong in the Haskins Laboratories and Professor Shu in the Beijing Normal University. Phonological awareness is the ability to segment and manipulate the speech sound structure. Auditory mismatch in activity is an ERP component. It reflects the ability to discriminate the changes occurring in a stream of repeating sounds. It is also associated with the phonological processing. Previous studies have consistently found that there is a strong relation between phonological awareness and the reading ability. The better the reading, the better the phonological awareness, the better the reading ability. In terms of the MMN, it also has a close relation with the reading ability. With the larger the amplitude, the, the better the reading ability. And in recent years, it also has found that there is a relation between the phonological awareness and the auditory MMN. The better the phonological awareness, the larger the amplitude of the MMN. Inspired by the previous findings, we would like to know whether the MMN is a neural mechanism between the phonological awareness and the reading ability. Specifically, whether the association between the phonological awareness and reading is mediated by the MMN. This is the main purpose of the present study. We carried out a three-year longitudinal study to explore the relation among the phonological awareness, MMN, and reading ability. In preschool Chinese children, we hypothesis that MMN mediated the association between phonological awareness and reading ability. Now, the specific experimental design is showing. In the first time point, when the children were in the kindergarten grade 1, we measured the phonological awareness. There were two tasks, including the syllable deletion and the dynamic phoneme onset deletion. In grade 3, we recorded the EEG and obtained the character reading ability. Specifically, in the second time point, we recorded the MMN. Two months later, at the third time point, we finally married the character reading ability. In the syllable deletion, children were asked to say a new word by removing one syllable from a two-syllable word. For example, children needed to remove the qi from qi shui and answer shui. In the dynamic phoneme deletion, children were asked to remove a phoneme from a one-syllable word. For example, children needed to drop a b from bai and answer i. If the child was unable to give the correct answer, we give an instructive feedback, but only once. If the child was able to answer correctly after the feedback, the item was recorded as correct. Otherwise, the item was recorded as wrong. And uh, in the character recognition, there were 61 syllable words, and children were asked to read them one by one. The MMN was elicited using the audible paradigm, that is, children were frequently present with standard stimulus and infrequently present with deviant stimuli. There were two conditions. The one was the phoneme condition and the other was the lexical tone condition. In the phoneme condition, the two stimuli is ba and ta and in the lexical tone condition, the two stimuli is G and G.
each child took part in two blocks, one of the phoneme condition and the other of the lexical tone condition. Each block contained 513 standard stimuli and 80 deviant stimuli. During the experiment, children were asked to watch a silent cartoon movie and not to listen to the song with the earphone. This is the overall experiment design. Now, I would like to talk about the results in the present study. First, this is the descriptive statistics. And this is the grand average waveforms and MMN waveforms of the two conditions. According to the previous literature and topography, in the present study, we chose the 100 to 300 milliseconds as the MMN time window. There are three main correlations. Ch Chinese, tro Chinese character reading ability significantly correlated with the logical awareness and MMN response to the phoneme changes. Moreover, there is also a significant correlation between the phoneme deletion and the phonemic MMN. After controlling the sex, age at T1 and the parental education, we found that phoneme deletion at T1 was a significant predictor of the phonemic MMN at T2. And also controlling the effects, age at T1 and the parental education, phonemic MMN at T2, in turn, was also a significant predictor of the character reading ability at T3. These findings indicate that MMN may be a neural mechanism mediating the relation between the phoneme awareness and the character reading ability. Thus, we carried out a mediation analysis. Results show that there was a full mediation effect of the phonemic MMN between the phoneme deletion and the character reading ability. In sum, there are three findings in the present study. Phoneme awareness was a predictor of the amplitude of phonemic MMN. The amplitude of phonemic MMN was associated with the character reading ability. And most importantly, we found that phonemic MMN mediated the association between the phonological awareness and the character reading ability. The reason for the relation may lie on the phonological representation. This is the main content of our research. Thanks to my supervisor, Professor Jing Jing Zhao, and my colleagues, Li Ming Zhang and Jian Yi Liu. We also thank Dr. Hong in the Haskins Laboratories and Professor Shu in the Beijing Normal University. Thanks to all the people that made contribution to the present study and all the children that had participated in the experiment. Thanks to the findings that supported the present study. And thanks for your listening.